Hey guys, this is test 39 game one. This is the files game, the red, green, and yellow files. I've laid out a bunch of stuff here, but don't worry, I'm going to explain all of that. We've got the red HMO, we've got the green PVX, and the yellow T and Z. I've laid out all the rules to the left here. H is before O, but not immediately before O, so H, O can never occur consecutively. X is before V, but X and V are never consecutive. They tell us that H, the number of spaces between H and O is equal to those between X and V, so I put H before O equals X before V, just to remind myself of that rule, that they are equal in terms of spacing. Then finally, you know, we got Z is, is immediately before M, so I've got ZM with a box around it. Then the last rule I put on the diagram itself, we never have any of H, M, and O on the first slot because they are the red files. I've laid out a bunch of other restrictions as well, which I'm going to explain. We know that H has to go before O, therefore H cannot be last and O cannot be first. But because they cannot be immediately in that order, H also cannot be seventh because we are, cannot have O eighth because they cannot be consecutive. So if H was seven, O would have to be nine or later, but of course there is no nine or later. Similarly, O cannot be second because that would H require H to be zero or earlier, and of course there is no zero. Same with x before v. V cannot be uh, v cannot be first and x cannot be last. Also, v can't be second and x cannot be seventh, because if x was seventh, v would be nine or later, which doesn't exist. And if v was second, x would have to be zero or earlier, which does not exist. So this is our bare bones initial setup for the game. Of course, z is not eight, m is not one, because z must go before m immediately. So that's our initial setup for the game. You don't necessarily need to have drawn all of these restrictions. You could have just drawn HMO not on one. I chose to draw more just to give you a sense of what that might look like. Now, question number one is a typical orientation question. You just want to take one rule at a time and apply that rule to all five choices looking for violations. So I'm going to start with a rather easy restriction that, you know, none of HMO or V could be first. And we get a hit with choice A that is unacceptable because H can never be first. Next, I'll take that we have to have Z before M occurring in that order consecutively. We find choice B violating this, having M before Z. It should be the other way around, so B is gone for that reason. Next, I'll use the rule that X and V must be in that order but cannot touch. I find that choice C violates this, having them touching. Also, choice E violates this, having them touching. So C near gone leaving D by process of elimination for number one. Next, number two, the maximum number of spaces between Z and H. Well, of course, we know that it cannot be Z on one, H on eight, because O has to come, at, o has to come after H. Additionally, we know that Z has to have M before it, M immediately after it, so let's try to work that in. We can even draw a little diagram. Of course, to reach the maximum, we're going to want to put Z on 1. We can't put H on 1 because H is never on 1 due to the rule regarding red files. So I'm going to put Z on 1, which requires M on 2 because they have to be consecutive. Then I'll put O as late as possible in order to allow H to be as late as possible. So I will put O on H. Remember, H and O cannot be consecutive. So H's latest, in this case, would be 6. Then our question is, does this check out? Well, you see that we've got exactly one thing between H and O, so we need exactly one thing between X and V. So I'll just throw down X on 3 and V on 5. That would leave us to have P on 4 and T on 7, or T on 4 and P on 7, and this complies with all of the rules. So for this reason, let's count how many we have between Z and H. We have space 2, space 3, space 4, space 5. So that's one, two, three, four in our tally. So four is our answer to choice C. Remember, we know this works because this is the maximum because we couldn't space them farther apart. If we had Z on one and H on seven, for example, then H and O would be touching, which is not permitted, and the H wants to go before O. So C is our answer to number two. Next, number three. If each of the green, three reds is immediately followed by a green, so we've got you know red immediately before green touching. Of course, those are not actual variables. Those are just the categories. Then which slot must be a yellow file? Well, we know red can't be on one. And so if we were going to have green immediately after it, we know, of course, that green cannot be on one or two. 
Now our greens are P, V, and X. We already know that V cannot be 1. This is now telling us that P and X cannot be 1 either. Additionally, of course, we're learning that P and X cannot be 2 either. So our most restricted space right now is space number 1. We have all of these guys, H, M, O, P, V, X, which is basically all the reds and all the greens can't be on 1, leaving the yellows to be on 1. So we automatically infer that 1 will have to be either T or Z. So, of course, choice A, the first, is our answer to number 3. So they're asking us in number 4 for the maximum number of things that could be between X and V. Of course, we can't have X on 1 and no, V on 9. So for that reason, 7 slots, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, does not work, and E can automatically be eliminated. That'd be, you know, having X on 1, V all the way down here. That's what you would need to do, something like that, in order to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 things between X and V. So for that reason, E is gone. Now, if we had six things between them, that would be x on 1 and v on 8. Our 6 would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. But then how could we have h and o be equal to that in terms of spacing? We'd have to have h on like 0 and then o on 7. But of course, there is no 0. We can't have h on 2 and o on 9. So for that reason, 6 is not going to work either and d is gone. But now that we've gotten those two things out of the way, having five things between them actually becomes pretty possible, it becomes likely, it becomes possible. We could have X on 1 and V on 7. I'm not going to put H on 1 and O on 7 to make them equal as this rule down here dictates because H can never be on 1. So for that reason it's going to be X on 1 and V on 7, then we could have H on 2 and O on 8 in order to have the X, V, and H, O spacing work. Then just to prove that this scenario is possible, I can throw down Z and M, those two guys consecutive on 3 and 4, and then have P on 5 and T on 6, or T on 5 and P on 6. Of course, there are no rules regarding these variables as far as this area goes. So this proves it works perfectly fine as a maximum. So C is our answer to number 4. Next, number 5. If we had Z on the 5th position, of course, that would require M to be on the 6th due to the ZM box. And then after that, nothing else is really that determined. Things are still pretty open-ended. But this is actually enough to get us through the question, believe it or not. So they're ask, uh, asking us, what could be H's position? Well, we automatically know that H cannot be any of 6, 7, or 8. It can't be 7 or 8 by default, initial rules of the game. H also cannot be 6 due to the presence of M on 6 now as a result of Z on 5. So for that reason, choices D and E are automatically eliminated because we see that M has to be on 6. Now, we also know that H cannot be on 1 due to the rule that we have no red files on 1. So for that reason, choices A and B are automatically eliminated, leaving C as our answer by elimination for number 5.